All right, guys, so here I got a 32 by 84 bed, two bath. This one has a back porch on it. On the front, you've got the cedar shake up under the triple dormers. And on your back, you got a beautiful porch. It's optional. If you wanted a second living room, you could put it in that spot. Let's go check out the inside. All right, so we're coming through the front door. So this home features two by six side walls, floated sheetrock throughout, overhead air vents. You got a beautiful living room. It's got a shiplap feature wall with an electric fireplace. If you want wood burning, you can get it. So you got plenty of spot in your dining area for a 10-man table. Very spacious. Got some floor-to-ceiling windows. I've always loved this manufacturer's cabinet packages. They do real big pot and pan drawers. Fit some gadgets in there. Nice little cubby hole. It's got Whirlpool appliances. It's got the confection microwave. I used to call it a confectioner's microwave and people made fun of me. So I'm very conscious about getting that right for now. You've got a cooktop range, convection range, uh, oven, industrial vent hood. Look at your laundry real quick. It's your water heater and furnace. Got what I call a Christmas tree closet. I have one of these and literally store my whole Christmas tree, decorated and all, right up in there each year. Washer and dryer area. And you got a back door. I know that sounds sad about the Christmas tree, but I decorated on Thanksgiving in about five minutes and I was done. This is your master bedroom. It's going to be about 15 by 17. Master closet. Got a little dressing bench. This one has this little cabinet in it, which uh, I don't too much agree with. I think it takes up too much space, but it's optional. Check out the master bath. Now you get that beautiful barn door to go over the master bath. Ties in nicely with the tile. Now the first time I saw this home, this was one of the, I think it was the first ceramic inlay shower I'd seen installed in one. I'm talking about about four years ago. And uh, I was blown away. Now the rest of the industry's caught up. And that's not to say they had the first, but um, it's definitely gone wild with it now. Now, if you did not want that porch, all right, right there at this arch, get my finger in the picture, that's where your living room would start, okay? And it'd be open all the way back. They generally put a entertainment wall on this wall. And, uh, of course, it gets a little bit bigger because you don't have the exterior walls involved. 
This is the first of the spare bedrooms. It's going to be 10 by 12. Spare bath. It's got the Vanderbilt fiberglass tub in there. And this bedroom is going to be 9 by 12 with a big walk-in closet. we got a little closet right here in the hallway. If you want a linen closet, we can put more racks in it for that. And this is your fourth bedroom. It's going to be 10 by 12 as well. What, what, what? Guys, y'all know that's one of the finest mobile homes you've ever seen. That home's gonna run you about 145. It's definitely one of the higher end houses, loaded with quality, two by six sidewalls, flow sheet right throughout, blah, 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 blah. A um, few things we could do to, to trim back on that a little bit. One thing would be that porch. And if you'll go back to the beginning of the video, you, you'll you see a picture of the den, uh, which is the option without the porch. But anyway, great house for the money. Uh, cost you twice that to build it in a stick-built home. So um, give me a call.